Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. This morning I'm going to be doing a brief tutorial on Rhino 7 and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a basic coffee cup. So we're going to go ahead and open up Rhino 7 and we're going to specify new and we're going to come down here to small objects and inches. Okay, we're going to make sure that we're in our standard tab and we want to come over here and grab the polyline. We want to make sure our grid snaps are on. We want to go ahead and click, drag over to the right, click, drag up to create the base of our cup. And then right mouse click. Now we want to come in the command prompt and type in offset. Click offset. We want, to, we want the distance to be 0.3. We want to come in here and click and then click again. Now we want to grab our polyline again. We want to cap off these right mouse click, right mouse click to start the function over again. I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to actually make this round. So let's go ahead and get go back to the pointer tool and type in zoom. Click zoom. I'm going to say zoom dynamic. And I'm going to click right here and drag in. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a circle in there. So we'll go ahead and get the circle tool. Or actually, let's do this one. Let's get the arc. And we're going to go from here. Actually, I wanted to do half of that. So we're going to have to go arc tool. We could go there, we could just move it over. So go ahead and type in move. We're going to select that little piece, right mouse click. We're going to go from endpoint to endpoint. Well, something, something didn't have, went wrong there. Okay, we're going to go click there, right mouse click, endpoint, endpoint. Okay, now we have our round cup. Okay, now we're going to go back, type in zoom in the command prompt. We're going to zoom dynamic, and then we're going to click and drag out. Okay, now we can get our pointer tool. Now we're going to create a arc here for the handle. So we're going to go to do that. We're going to go ahead and use the arc center. We're going to turn off grid snap. Now we're going to click. You can come inside of the cup, not a problem. It's probably better for the better for to handle the least slightly inside of the, the cup when you revolve it. Okay, now we have our handle here. So now we want to come up here in the command prompt and type pipe. Okay, now we're going to select the handle and then we're going to kind of uh, adjust this circle here that you see to get it to be a nice size for the handle. So we're going to click and then we're going to Right mouse click, enter. Okay, so this is our handle here. Now we'll go ahead and click the pointer tool. Now we're going to revolve the cup. So to do that, come into the command prompt and type in revolve. Come up here and select revolve. Now you're going to go get these pieces. Hold down the shift key and drag a marquee around that one. Get that little corner piece. Right mouse click. Now the command prompt is asking you for start or revolve access. So you want to go from the endpoint there and just kind of drag up, right mouse click, enter, enter. Now get your pointer tool. We're going to come over here and change this to rendered so we can see what we're doing. So view, come down to rendered. Okay, this is our basic cup shape. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get our pointer tool. We're going to add some materials. Now, if your material palette's not open, just come over here to the panels. Make sure that next to materials is a check mark. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click the plus sign, and then we're going to go ahead and open this import from materials library. And now we're going to go double click and open up ceramic. Now we're going to double click and open up blue glaze. So we're going to go ahead and click this and drag it on top of the cup. We're going to click again, drag on top of the handle. I'm going to rotate a little bit. Then we're going to click it and drag inside of the cup. 
All right, this is our little coffee cup. Um, you don't have to keep these these lines uh, after you revolve the cup, unless you want to come back in here later and you want to make adjustments. Like say you wanted to make this cup thinner, go ahead and keep that revolve line, and then you can go ahead and make your changes. But if you don't want to do that, you go ahead and just hit delete, and then you go ahead and select that little black piece there, hit curve, and then hit delete. And then just revolve it around, make sure there's there's no other pieces there. Like you could get rid of that too. Go ahead and click, say that it's a curve, or select curve, and then hit delete. Okay, that's going to be our uh, blue glaze ceramic uh, cup. Um, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you found anything use, useful out of this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And Happy New Year, doll. Thank you for watching.